back on the saddle here. So I just had uh, something pretty good. Uh, I have this set up like my previous two videos. I'm taking power out of the run cap phase. I have a four UF cap. Tonight I tried some other run caps, a two and an eight and stuff. Still the four seems to be the best. Then I have this transformer here in series to the L3 line on one side. And then the output of the transformer on the other side is in parallel to a full wave bridge rectifier on the AC side. And then that dumps into this battery. And uh, there's 350 milliamps going into this battery. And this is parallel with this, with the super cap back, okay? Just like yesterday, except I'm getting more. Uh, it's 190, 190 milliamps from the alternator. Uh, but I'm just measuring what's going in from the uh, from here and it's uh, 35 340 milliamps to 350 milliamps but just five minutes ago I only had 30 milliamps and the draw used to be 160 milliamps and this is a new meter I'm using it's it's actually more, shows more than it really is, but that's okay. But it used to be 160 milliamps, and I did one change. First, I took a 12 and a half UF cap, and I put it in series to the input that goes to the ammeter, right? And then the ammeter goes off into the L1 line. That's the other end of the ammeter. So, so here's the ammeter. And what that did is it stalled it really quick. That's no good. So I tried a 20 UF in series. You see how it is in series here. The yellow wire comes in one side. Green wire goes out and it goes to the ammeter. The ammeter goes to the L1 line. And when I did this, I got a good drop in input to a, from 160 down to 120, which is good. And I got a good boost in the output from, three, from 300 up to 340 and 350. So... Well, I guess it might be a 25 or something else would even work better, but the 20 worked right good. So this is what Hector talk, talked about tuning the thing. I tried uh, parallel caps, a bunch of them across parallel to the input, and that did nothing. But this one in series to one of the AC lines, did something good. It dropped the draw, input draw down, and it boosted the output from the run cap. Now over here, it drops a tenth of a volt every 18 to 20 seconds, if you time it right now. Where I left off uh, yesterday was like, I wonder how this thing would perform if there was only 10 volts, or let's say 10 and a half volts in here. 10 and a half volts in the battery. I wonder. So I'm letting it draw down.
Also, uh, this top coil and the bottom coil are being unused. So I could get some more amps out of this thing if I ran uh, those in with the rest of the coils. There's eight coils in there. I'm only using six. And these are just dummy coils on the top and bottom. This was because I, I had a target of 15 volts. It's running pretty consistent at 340. It just popped down while I was talking from 80 to 79. If I can make little improvements like this every day, I think I can get it eventually to stabilize so it doesn't drop at all or it goes up. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause and I'm going to try like 21, 21 UF, 22 UF, 23 UF. See what that does. So right now I have 120 milliamp input and 340 milliamp output from just the transformer. Okay, one moment. 